Okay, so the first part is the cinematic. Um, so find whatever spot you want on the map. Let's skip to about 50 seconds. That's when everyone will be in the bus. So you can go into drone free and go to wherever you want. So I'll go right here. I'll start right here. So hit minus and slow it down to 0.25. Uh, you want to change all of your effects to epic except take anti-aliasing off. So you have your game like this. It'll be kind of laggy for a bit, but so after that, and you're like in the spot you want, and it's at like about 50 seconds, right? You hit play, cover this so it's gone, and then kind of just slowly go forward for your cinematic until you like it how it is. So go for however long you need. And then you want to do this for two other places. So I'm sure you get how to do it. So I'll, I'll let you guys do that and I'll skip to the next part. Okay, so after you get all three cinematics, then go to Vegas. Add three video tracks and three audio tracks by right clicking this over here and this should pop up. So add three video, three audio. Okay, so so once you have your three cinematics in here, um you wanna start like putting them in in whichever order you want. After you put it in, right click it, go to properties disable resample and if any of you use stretched click that box maintain aspect ratio and it'll fit the screen so after you want to do that with every clip you use so then you click on this again hit control U it deselects the audio from the clip you just want to delete the audio and then you wanna crop the clip to the beginning of when you start moving so probably about right there is good and then you wanna bring it to the beginning so first off you, like, you wanna get your song so um, I'll just use this song to show you guys you wanna put the by the way you wanna put the song on the fifth on the fifth one and you wanna put all your clips you want to use the, you want to have your clips for the third one and then the audio of the clips on the fourth one but I just deleted it because I don't want any of the audio from this in there so first off you wanna you're gonna have to you're gonna add velocity to this in a second once you get it to about like the right length so okay so first right click it again go to insert remove envelope Go to velocity, click that. You'll see this little dot on the left. You want to drag that all the way to the top. And then if you go to the beginning and you go over one, if you go over one, two, three, four, five, six, you want to double click that little green line again, right click your dot, and click set to normal velocity. So in the beginning, it'll like speed up and then go to back to normal speed like that even if you want you can make it even slower and make it 50 so it'll look like this so if you like that more then you can do that so the next part for the, that uh, the velocity you want to add to the clip is probably right here you can see there's a little how the audio gets louder so see you see you heard that little noise so you want to double click the line and drag that dot all the way to the top 
and then from that dot go over one go you want to go over one two three make another one right click that dot set it to 50 or whatever you had set it had set the first one to click back on that dot and go over one two three to the right now make another dot by double clicking and set that one to 50 as well so then right here where this is it'll speed up as well like this so then you want to find like a good spot to switch the um, cinematics from the first one to the second one so right there is probably good so right there we'll just drag it to here and then since it's switching you want to make another dot on the right drag that to the top and then for this one you want to go over six so one two three four five six make your dot set to 50 so it'll speed out for it'll speed out and then for the next one you're gonna have that speed in so it like speeds out and speeds in the next one so okay, so get your second cinematic I think this is my second one so the same thing from before properties disable resample everything like before control U delete the audio and then you want to do the same thing from when you're going in you start moving drag it right next to this one and then this time you can just play it so right there I'll just stop it right there since it's probably a good spot to switch do the exact same thing as you did before add velocity drag this left one to the top go over one go over six one two three four five six set it to whatever you want I'll do 50 I'll do 50 um, and then find the next spot you wanted to speed up at so probably right there for me bring that all the way to the top one okay and then go over six one two or three my I'm sorry one two three set to fifty or whatever you said it to before one two three set it to fifty so it should look something like this and then the same exact thing make it speed out so it's like one so go over six to the left one two three four five six fifty so then do that same thing with your third cinematic um, and then after that you want to add the text so okay so the first thing you want to do is get this displacement map which is linked in my description and second you want to go to edit visible button set and turn every sing single one of these on well I, that's what I normally do anyway so I turn all of those on for the video and this is what I do here this is what the kinda confusing part take your displacement map probably just add it down here so cause there's gonna be audio to it so you unlink the audio control U delete and then you drag this to the top up here right um, so once you have this up here it's just gonna look like this which is obviously not what you want take your displacement map and then get your text so here I'll put this to the side for a bit so get insert your, go to top the top up here and click insert text I already have a preset made for it and you can just copy this all except not sample text obviously but so copy all this um and then just change the text to like whatever whatever you want um or just so just change it to whatever you want um you're gonna need three different texts because you have three different cinematics you can click right here and save it as a preset so you don't have to type all this over and over again 
um, once you have your text, you want to put it on like the second one right here. You click this right here, right for the second one, the make composite shot. Um, then you have your displacement map. You want to drag it on top. Then you want to click this one right here. Comp this on the left. Click custom. Click Vegas displacement map. Then click OK. Um, copy. Oh, copy all this right here. Um, and then you can see down here that it actually makes the letter shake. You saw at the beginning. It might be a little laggy on this, but you saw how it shakes at the beginning. Right? So drag that, make it cover everything, all the cinematic parts, because you're going to add, be adding different text. So once you have your title of the video in, um, you can just keep it, keep this how it is already. Um, keep the text just with the jitter effect. Then you can add your three other parts, however you want. You just you don't need to redo this since it's already set how it is. If you add another text, look, I'll show you. You add another text. Um, what? I don't know. Okay, well, my Vegas crashed, but <laughs> once once you have done all okay well this stuff is gone but once you have done everything like once you already clicked on this stuff you don't have to do it again you can just add your text and it are it'll have the jitter effect you see and then you can add your third one just whatever you want like enjoy Enjoy, um, and then it, the text is done. What I like to do for this part um, is to like make it a little bit nicer. You can just keep it how it is, but if you want it to look like cleaner, go to Pan and Crop, which is this little thing right here. Click that, and in the bottom left of this, it'll say Mask. Click that, right? Click the tool Rectangle and zoom in a little bit and then uh, this down here is a timeline so it's like you know, I'll show you in a second so at the beginning right here at the beginning it's like this it'll be this it'll just be that box at the beginning and then if you drag it over to here and you expand the box then at three seconds or about three seconds It'll have ex it'll like expand out and it looks like this if it doesn't like if it's not like so if you like that and then to make it look a little cleaner you can go here make a little and then go to the end of the clip and like make it fade out or something like that so it'll like fade in then fade out so you can do that with all of these and it looks a bit it looks pretty nice so again go to the pan crop mask rectangle tool and then do whatever thing you like whatever you want you can make it look like fancy like do whatever you want okay so you finished the intro and everything and now this is how you edit the effects so right after the intro um, play it out. One, two, three, four. You want to pause it right when you, the beat hits. So you can tell where it is by looking down here at the music. It gets a lot louder. So right when it hits that, pause it. Oh, pause it on that. And then hit M, and this little orange thing will show. And it'll mark it so you don't have to go back, and it's just there so you know exactly where the beat hits. And then for this you want to get your clip uh, for whatever you want okay so take your clip 
put it on the third and fourth row. Same exact thing as the intro. Disable resample. Turn that off. So don't hit control U because you do not want to unhook the audio right now. So find, crop this and find the pump shot. It's probably around the end, right? And you can tell also like with the beat drop where the pump shot is with the sound as it gets louder. So crop your pump or your clip and drag it, drag it right onto your, drag it right onto your, um, marking spot where the beat drop is and then after you've brought it onto it onto the orange mark you can drag the rest out um, so where it meets the intro so it'll come off the intro One, two, three, four, five. and go into the clip so also if you want you can make it fade in so I'll just bring this down a little bit if you you can see it right here you can just drag it so it just they fade into each other like this One, two. that was a little quick but you can just make them fade in to each other like that and also if you want you can make the text fade out too so it's not One, two, three, four, five. so your clip should be synced with the music <laughs> so at this point if you want if your everything is together and it's synced, you can hit Control U and unlink the audio. I'm not going to do that right now, but for this part, this also includes velocity. So right-click the clip, click down here where velocity was, insert remove envelope, and you just want to add three points for now, like that, right around it by double-clicking it. So zoom in a little bit with scroll wheel, right, and take the middle dot, drag it on to your mark right click it set it to 200 velocity and then you want to go over one two three four five six and drag that left dot right over to this right click it and set it to normal velocity click back on your orange on your orange line go to the right one two three and drag your right dot onto it and set it to 50 so it should look something like this So it looks pretty good. If you want it a little bit faster, you can go out 5 or something. You can set it to 50, so it's like... So, after you do that, you can, you wanna, you can unlink the audio. And then you wanna click it right back on your line and hit S. It'll split the clip in half, right? You do not wanna split it in half before you do the velocity, or else it'll be like impossible to do it. So after you do that, make the clip however long you want, like crop it down a little bit, and then this is where you add the effects. So the first effect I'm going to add is the shake effect. It, uh, it requires sapphire plugins, which you can watch a video on how to get that. So take your shake effect, drag it onto this, and then just copy this exact preset I have. Okay, so just copy this, pause the video if you need to. So just go ahead and copy that. Okay, so I'm going to cl close those. So at the top, there's this little button on the right. It's basically a timeline. Again, the same thing with the clip or the text. Click that, and this will pop up down here. This, this shake effect is pretty easy. You just want to drag this thing all the way to the end right here. And then go back up to amplitude and drag that down to zero. After you do that, it'll shake, but then the shake effect will like slow down a little bit towards the end of the clip. So there's like barely any shake at the end. Like you saw how it, it was shaking, and then it, like at the end it just stopped. I'll leave you ass if we see that because it'll look kind of weird if it's shaking. And then at the next clip, there's just no shake at all. It, j it just looks kind of weird. So if there's no shake and it leads into a clip with no shake at the beginning, it, it looks better. So after you do this um, and add the shake effect, you search up blur. And if you have sapphire effects, you'll have it. So if you install sapphire effects, you get blur, you get shake, which is what you're going to need. So 
Search up blur, drag this on. And up here, same thing, timeline, open that. Change this to point zero zero four or even point zero zero five adds a little more blur. And down here, right on the blur on the blur timeline, click like one thirty seconds and drag the blur amount to zero. So the blur goes but then it fades. So the last effect that you can add after that is brightness and contrast. You don't need it any sapphire plugins or anything for it let's go ahead apply that you can minimize those open up the timeline for this and then point three brightness probably and go to the same exact thing where blur was for the brightness and make it zero so it fades out you can do that if you want so that probably looks pretty good and if you want to add a little, like a little touch, it looks kind of nice. About right here, you can split it, and then up add brightness and contrast to this, this little thing right here. The way you just split that right before the clip, or right before the kill. Go to the event effects button right next to pan and crop right here. Or if you close that out just a second ago. Open up the timeline, drag this to the end, and then the brightness, you make it negative 300. And I think it looks pretty cool because it like kind of fades out like this. So that's basically how you can edit the clip. And if you want, you can even add a, a swoosh effect. So this is also linked in the description. Um, so you have this. Um, that's basically how to edit the clip, right? So then if you want to make the audio a little quieter because I think it's kind of loud, on the left down here where the beat, like you first added all the tracks, go to the fourth one where you're, it's lined up the track that has your clip audio. Drag it down to negative 9.3, like about that. And then it's just one, two, three, four, five, stay in It's just a little quieter. And then your swoosh effect, make it probably like a like a one. Three, four, five, stay in tall, leave you. So that's probably good. That's that's basically the ma the basics of all this. And then there's a transition that you guys really wanted to learn how to use. Like a lot of you guys wanted to know how to do it. So this can get a little confusing. So probably right here, I'll split it, right? I'll split this. And you see how at the end of this clip and the beginning of this clip, it's the exactly the exact same frame. It's like, it's just this, the person like this standing like that. So on this, on this one, if you split it, there's gonna be the effects on it. You wanna drag this up to here the effects and get rid of all of those right so then they're, they're, the velocity will still be on it which is completely fine so you're gonna wanna have velocity to this so you're gonna right click on the dot and set it to zero so you see it just freezes right that's what you want so make it however long you want so right there is good um, and this is where it gets kind of like tricky, but it's pretty easy to learn. So again, go to the pan and crop. In the bottom left again, go to mask. And you can just click on the normal edit tool, right? You can zoom in on it, right? Scroll wheel. So you want to hit, if you hit control, this thing pops up. It's basically like a tool to like circle around whatever you want, right? Um, so... You're gonna want to go around the whole character as like clean and nice as you can, like that. So just go around him. It might take a while, but it looks pretty cool at the end of this all. So go around the whole thing. Um, and also, you might like it might be a little confusing because if you hold you hold down on your mouse to like drag around, right, and the things are gone. 
So if you click, if you see this little black and white line, and you click on the end of it, the the the, the last anchor point, do not hit Control when you click it because it, it'll do this weird thing where it like kind of messes it up. But so just click on it normally. Then you can hit Control again and continue going. And if for some reason it disconnects like that, and if it's not connected, delete this thing. You don't want that one, and you want to click back on the f the last one and keep going. So I'll show you when it's completely done. Okay, so once you've gone all the way around, hey, keep hitting Control and just link it to that. You'll see on the right over here, it's just the character that you just cropped out. So you have that done. Um, you're going to need to do it one more time, and I'll show you in a second. So I'll close that out for now. And it look, it'll just look. Yes, if we show you see how it switches to that. So get your next clip. So I have my next clip. Um, same thing. Properties. Disable resample. So this is how to transition it to the next one. So same thing. Find a spot where you want to get the kill. Right there. I'll just do it right there. Go down right there, I get the kill, drag it on, and drag it to right there, right? So this is where it can get pretty confusing, I would say. So you could you should pro you probably want to do this with like a different skin. It, I think it looks better. But I'm I just have a lot of clips with this skin on, so what you do right here is you split it, right? You can for this side you can you wanna delete this audio. So click back right where you split it, drag this up, and you want to pull this out for like however far, right? And then you want to drag this left side right back to this, your, this thing, holy sh- <laughs> to this thing, right? So you want to add velocity to the clip that you just split, make it zero, so that's- that's how to do that part. So if you got that, you're pretty. You're kind of past the confusing part. But here's where this can mess up. If you drag this, if you drag this end out, it'll switch where you froze the clip. So you do not want to drag that out. If you want to like extend the extend it, then just extend out this side. Okay. You do not want to extend out the left side because it'll mess it up completely. So do not extend that side out. And if you want to like make this side longer and you just shorten this, drag that over and make it like that. So once you have this frozen, do the exact same thing as before. Go to pan crop, mask, and go around. So you probably know how to do it. Just go around it. See this right in here? Like you can't get that. So you just make an after you click you just drag it after you do that click this and just fill this in and you'll see that it doesn't disappear so click this one right here the negative mask and it'll disappear do that with any spot I like guess right here and just get rid of it so that's how to make these two different parts so it'll just so it's not that different because it's the same exact skin but you probably want to use different scenes. So, right here is where you can add the little transition of how to like swipe it. So, drag this to about 0.10. Okay. Um, and then add the transition. Swish pan from Sapphire Effects. Drag that right onto the part that you like merge the two. So the 0.10 seconds. And then it'll look something like this. Right? So it'll like transition into the second part. And then the the background that I use is just it's like you use just such a like damaged film background, old film background, and it looks like this. It's this right here. So drag it onto where you have your clips. Unlink the audio. And trim it to really like where it's really small, like this. Add it right in between here. 
Just extend it in this little spot where they are, and then this the background. So then you have that background, right? So that looks pretty good. So it'll like transition after you get the kill. So yeah, so that's how to transition your clip to the next one. So you can add the same effects as last time. Okay, so you probably have added your effects. So you can do this transition whenever you want. And then just add these effects. You don't need to add it to every clip, but just add these same effects. Not same, but whatever effects. The, the shake and the blur, probably. Um, to the clips that you want to have effects on, but you don't need to add it to every clip. So, after you've done that, the outro is pretty easy to do. You just... I can literally take the this clip right here that I just used. Um, I like to use clips that have grass in it, right? So... I take it, I crop it to whatever, how long you ever, how long you want the outro to be. Get get rid of the audio. You do not want the audio for this. Um, if you want, you can disable resample. Um, but I, I guess it won't matter much. But you want to go, you do not need sapphire effects. You can go to Gaussian blur, take the soften effect, apply it, and then drag it to about... 600 and make them the exact same or else it'll look funky like that so make it the same like that and then make it fade into each other like I showed you how before you see right here this little thing fade so you can make them make them fade into each other so you see how it's blurred um probably want to do that um you want to add that blur for the outro. I don't cinematics don't look very good for an outro. So you want to take this. You can make this and fade out as well. So. So for the text, this is a lot simpler than the jitter effect. Literally insert text. Um, I like to do for this. I like to do Arial. I like to make it. 16 and bold and then I just give it a shadow effect I'll show you in a second um uh, I'll make it just thanks for watching that's what I normally do thanks for watching and then you have that I normally drag it up to the top right and then you have this you can make this the text fade in as well you have the basic text without any effect on it so warp you want to search up warp you need sapphire effects too. go all the way down to warp waves to apply it and it'll look like that at the beginning you do not want that copy this exact preset I have and it'll look really clean so normally I'll do like point three point zero 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 three or two or four. I don't really like eight. It's pretty wavy, so it looks like this. So it just it's like it makes it kind of wavy. It doesn't make it makes it like not so plain, I guess. Um. Oh, and I didn't even know this, but if you want for the text, disable resample, and maybe it'll make it look cleaner, but. Just right click the text and disable the resample. But, um, that's how to do the outro. It's pretty simple. Um, I hope this helped with everything. And then for the last part, I'll show you how to export it. So, for this, after you've done it all, close it out. I'm not going to close it out, but. Close it out. Um, you want to change it before you close it out. Go to up here. You want to make sure this is at 59, or else it'll it could bug out. Well, it bugs out for me. So you hit Shift M first. You want to hit Shift M after you've closed it out and set it to like 59. You want to hit Shift M, 
this will pop up pre-render it you want to pre-render your video or else it could like the shake effect it might like make it freeze it might glitch out it might like give you like a red screen or something so you want to pre-render it if you click render it'll pre-render the video I'm not gonna do that right now after you pre-render it um, you go file after you pre-render everything you go to file click render as and the main rendering thing should pop up right so you want to click Magix AVC slash AAC MP4 and then on the right I have these render settings just pause the video copy these exact ones so that, 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 and that. So once you've done that, just click render, and it should render in really good quality. And if you upload it to YouTube and it's 360p, that's normal. And after a while, it should switch to really good quality. So don't worry about that. But I hope this tutorial helped and it wasn't too confusing. And if you have any questions, just comment, and I'll try to respond the best I can. Alright, thank you.